Good morning from beautiful Taha, French Polynesia. We got up early again this morning to watch the sunrise. We're gonna head to breakfast in a bit and take one last spin down the coral gardens before we head to Bora Bora. We're Kristen and Will. We just got married and are honeymooning for two weeks in French Polynesia. We're visiting the islands of Marea, Taha'a, Bora Bora, and Tahiti, each packed with their own adventures. Whether we're scootering, snorkeling, or skiing, we'll be taking you guys along for the ride. Oh my goodness. They're so cool. Oh my God, they're so pretty. It's like the calmest day too. Well, today has been a whirlwind already. We finished breakfast and we were gonna go for a last swim in the coral gardens, but they said that the tide was a little low right now and that they didn't recommend doing it. So we decided to go right on the edge, not really thinking we would see anything. We jump in, we get halfway out, and then all of a sudden the dome that goes on top of my phone case got full of water. So I had to swim back in. Kristen stayed out. On the way back to her, I spotted an octopus, which is what she wanted to see most of all. She raced over and we spent about a half an hour enjoying the octopus. Meanwhile, I was swimming around trying to find an octopus because I was like, maybe this is my chance. I'm alone. Maybe we'll be more quiet. I'll try to take my time, really look for one in the coral. And then all of a sudden I hear my name being called and I was like, he definitely found an octopus. I was so excited. They're just such cool animals. The way they move, the way they blend in with the coral, like it's on the coral and it turns pink and it kind of like puts its back up so that it looks like coral. And then when it's swimming to the next piece of coral, it turns white and yeah, then it gets like all like skinny. Kind of. Like, did yeah, you see that? Like yeah. it looked like coral It gets bit. rigid so it looks like coral. And then when it goes to the next piece of coral and it's like, flying yeah, over the sand, so cool. it moves so quick. It gets all skinny and like looks all small and turns white. It's crazy, they're so, so cool. I was so excited. Basically, we spent way too much time with it. So we had to get ready really quick because we had to check out at 11. We we're gonna be taking the public ferry to Bora Bora, which is a really cheap option. We did get a text last night <laughs> from them, which is in French, but says... Gotta translate it real quick. Yeah, I gotta translate it real quick. <laughs> Stay tuned. We inform our kind customers that the seas will be rough tomorrow. Take your precautions. So, that'll it's, be interesting. It's funny though, because today looks like the most calm day. Yeah, the water is the calmest it's, it's been. It's pretty cloudy. Which is kind of weird. But it looks totally fine, so. Yeah, so we'll, we'll see, see how that goes. But we had about half an hour before our transfer, so we are going to enjoy the sea for one last time and bust open a bottle of wine. There's one last thing to do before we leave, and that's get some sand for our jar. On to Bora Bora. Hopefully we don't go down, because there's already water in the lifeboat. <laughs> I don't think that'll help us much. <laughs> it's a kiddie pool. We are taking the Apatahi Express from Taha'a to Bora Bora. 
which is the cheapest way to get from here to there. Our transfer took about an hour, but you can actually take this ferry from Tahiti all the way to Bora Bora, which takes a little over 7 hours and costs about $60 one way. The reason this is such a great deal is because you can also avoid having to pay for your hotel's airport shuttle. The airport transfers can be very expensive, but most of the hotels in Bora Bora offer free shuttles to the main island. So instead of paying $55 each to go from Lei Taha to the airport, about $100 each for a flight, and $40 to go from the airport to Lei Bora Bora, we paid $40 each for the ferry and $25 to take a taxi to the hotel's shuttle pickup point, saving us nearly $300. The water was a bit rough, but we got some truly spectacular views. When we arrived, I was pretty surprised to see that we had a taxi driver waiting for us. The hotel asked for our arrival plans and went ahead and booked us a taxi. It was a quick 20 minute ride to the shuttle pickup, and then we were off to Le Bora Bora. Jan was the nicest taxi driver we have ever had made sure that we got here right for the 2.30 shuttle, which is literally pulling up right now. Made sure we didn't touch our bags, and now we are about to get on the ferry to Le Boulevard. We have arrived, Le Boulevard. Yeah, checking, checking in. in. So once we take a moment to decompress, we're gonna do a full room tour for you guys, but that's gonna be in a different video. She's lost it. I can't. <laughs> can't. Hold. I just have way too many feels right now. <laughs> we have just arrived at Le Bora Bora and it is truly spectacular. I have so many emotions right now because I just can't believe we're hopping from one amazing thing to the next and it truly gets better and better each and every time. So once we take a moment to decompress, we're gonna do a full room tour for you guys, but that's gonna be in a different video. Tonight, we're just gonna spend some time unpacking, unwinding, and then head to dinner. Well, we spent way too much time unpacking, so now we're rushing to dinner and we have no idea where we're going. And of course it's raining. Tonight we got dinner at Yuana Bar, which is a wine bar. They have sushi there, so we got four different kinds of rolls. And for dessert, we got this lemon mousse coated in a white chocolate, which literally looks like a lemon and was over this graham cracker, which was to die for. I think the food is gonna be delicious here. I am very excited to explore the rest of the property tomorrow because we didn't get a chance to do that today. Looking forward to showing you all around.